I think what we're going to do here is I went on social media and I sort of, uh, you know, surveyed my audience and asked them about red flags in dating. Um, I kind of did it two ways. So on Twitter, I said, what was the worst red flag you've seen when, when first dating a woman? And I separated it. And I also asked uh, ladies as well to see what they would say. Um, so we'll kind of do it from both perspectives. And uh, I almost got a bunch of replies off the YouTube community tab. So we'll just we'll just hop straight into this. Yeah. So tells a story about almost having sex with some guy. I responded, that sounds like sex, not almost. Well, he was wearing a condom, so I don't count that. True story. I ghosted. Imagine saying that early on uh, when first dating, like in the first first few dates. So that would fall into uh, red flag number 11, big notch counts for sure. Yeah. I mean, look. You want you want a friends friends with benefits. You want uh, something short term. You want something late and easy. Nothing serious. Keep them at arm's length. I mean, look, other dudes haven't have indulged. If you want to, whatever ha, you know, have at her. It's not like it's not like it's going to make a difference if it's you know, thirty one or thirty two. Uh, Kirby here says she hated her own country to the point of being self xenophobic. It was bizarre. I was done by the end of the date at the end of the date we were outside mine i went inside and took off my clothes and started what at the end of the date we were outside my place i went inside took off my clothes and started playing pokemon she stood there surprised and i said bye so she left my revenge or me being petty i guess that's kind of petty um sounds a little dorky i would not take it there but she's hating her own people and country that's a little bit weird man like uh, like that's like the whole self-deprecating it's like when guys sort of like you know self self-deprecate and they sort of insult themselves. Danny here says, um, asking for presents and you to pay for everything immediately. That's just brat behavior. Um, look, if she's young, innocent, pure, virgin, you know, you're looking for wife stock, uh, you know, you're going down these sort of conversations and routes, then maybe that has some value. But, um, you know, for the average Western woman today, it's like pff, pound sand, you know? Yeah. Women are only worth your time and investment and financial resources when they prove that they're worth something. And they're not going to prove that they're worth something until you deal with them over several weeks, several months, right? So you can see what they're made of. So you can get a feeling for them, right? So early on, first date, second date, you, you know, you need to pay for everything. I need gifts and presents. Bye. Ray here says, uh, the communication was inconsistent and the interest shown was fluctuating. Uh, they would express, I'm assuming he means she would express. Guys, be precise in your language. The four agreements, be impeccable with your word, okay? I'm going to keep harping on this because it keeps happening. People using words like partner instead of boyfriend or girlfriend or, you know, they would express or I want to date somebody. No, if you're a man and you're straight, you're dating a chick. They, there's no pronouns, there's no they, them or any of that shit. Use correct language. She would express a desire to become closer only and then push away. She would then vanish, taking an inordinate amount of time to respond before reappearing, sorry, before re reappearing with a peculiar excuse for the absence. She's a hoe. She's she, like, look, women are never really single. Okay. Like they're always talking to some guy. They're always involved with some guy, even on dating apps. If they're like, Hey, I'm single. I'm looking for something serious. I guarantee, I mean, she's, she, she's dating other guys. Like she's talking to other guys. She may have been on several dates with other guys. She might've been with another guy and spent the night at his place the other night and woke up in the morning and went home and is now talking to you. It, it, it's not that uncommon, right? So if her interests and she's distant and she's not communicating with you, if you message, there's hours that go by before she responds. If a woman has genuine burning desire for you, she will respond immediately. There's no Oh, you know, I was busy for the last, you know, 36 hours because my cat sprained its eye looking at a disco ball and I had to go to the veterinarian and pay all this money to fix it. And it was very devastating. Shut the fuck. No, forget about it. No, no, no. Adam here says daddy issues, drinking, argumentative. Oh, man, it's your entire list and then some. Yeah. So again, if you guys don't have the entire list, go to the uh, email list, opt in and get it all. Uh, the daddy issues is effing massive, though. It's an immediate got to go. <laughs> Look. I'm I'm going to co-sign this very very strongly, you know. It it's I put it number 1 on my list. Daddy issues is number 1 on my list for red flags. Um uh, I dated a gal for several years that uh had a incredibly poor opinion and relationship with her father. It went from an incredibly good 
relationship with her father, the way that she described it to incredibly poor, uh, citing indiscretions and abuse and all these other stories. And it's like, it just didn't add up. It just did not add up that, you know, she went from daddy's little girl with a good relationship. They had fun. They respected each other to he doesn't even exist. Right. Um, if a chick doesn't have a good relationship with her old man and he's around and, you know, he's a good man and he's good at being a man. Um, the problem isn't probably with him, you know, for being honest on a bounce of probabilities more often than not, it's going to be her. So look, ignore it. If you want, invite her into your life, date her, marry her. If you want, I don't care. You know, uh, I'm not the penis police do whatever the hell you want with your life. But I'm telling you, women with daddy issues are a freaking nightmare. If they don't respect their father, they're not going to have a high opinion of men. You're a dude. She's not going to have a high opinion of you. She's going to dismiss you. She's going to utilize you. You're just an accessory, you know, situations like that. Uh, it's also closely, very, very highly correlated um, with borderline personality disorder. Um, I don't know what the exact numbers are today. The last time I saw a stat, it was something like one in five or one in four women uh, are either diagnosed or undiagnosed with the condition. And they're, they're hot, they're cold, they're warm, they're loving, they're, you know, they're frigid, they uh, whatever it's look, find out for yourself. I know a lot of guys are going to be like, yeah, okay, rich, that's fine. I'm just going to figure it out for myself. When you see it, you'll see it. And you'll come back to this and be like, he was right. Go on Amazon and write a review and say, you know, rich was right about this sort of stuff. Uh, daddy issues. Uh, oh, here's one. Uh, Carter said chick had a calendar with get ass eaten written on it for Saturday. <laughs> She's a hoe. Big notch count. Number 11. Red flag number 11. I mean, have fun. Again, indulge. 50 other guys probably have. Make sure you wrap it up. Protect yourself, all that sort of stuff. But uh, do not make her a girlfriend. Do not invite her into your life as a wife, as a mother of your kids. Uh, she a hoe. That's it. Um, she drank more than I did and I wasn't holding back alcoholic women. Um, red flag number 20 addictions, right? A lot of these are already on my list, right? Uh, Jonathan, like, look guys, if you deal with a chick and she's addicted to drugs and alcohol or shopping or shopping and returning things, um, TV shows like uh, bachelor, bachelorette drama, stuff like that. Uh, that's all that's going on in her world. Like she's got addictions to unhealthy uh, cigarettes, you know, um, you're, you're going to have problems with her. You know, she, she can't regulate her behavior. She can't wreck. She, she doesn't have the ability to say no to things, right? It's the whole, um, marshmallow test that I've talked about before, you know, where you delay gratification, you want to deal with a woman that has the ability to say to no, say no to things and preserve um, you know, her relationship with certain vices, you know, for example, look, everybody likes sugar. I like sugar. I, I like donuts. I'm on the worst fucking diet right now for the next, I have five more days. I'm on this crazy diet. I'll explain it in a totally separate video. All I'm, all I'm basically eating is turkey, sorry, ground turkey, uh, fucking, um, cauliflower rice, uh, butternut squash and apple, uh, soup. That's it. Right. It's working, and I'll explain why it's working shortly, but it's 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 brutal. But you drive by the donut shop, and you're like, oh, I could really do with a freaking, you know, honey cruller, or a Boston cream sort of thing, right? Like you like you have the draw to these vices, and you have to have the ability to say no and 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 basically tell these things to fuck off in your life, right? Um, if a woman can't do that. She's probably shared her body with a lot of dudes. She's probably got some addictions to certain things. And it doesn't matter if it's alcohol or if it's shopping and shopping and returning things. It doesn't matter what it happens to be. You don't want to deal with that on a long-term basis. You can. It's not that you can't. It's just that your life will become more uncomfortable, more difficult, more combative. Uh, it's going to annoy you. Okay? Trust me when I say this. I'm, I am not a spring chicken. I've done all of these things and I'm speaking from wisdom. Wisdom comes from making stupid mistakes. This is why, you know, we have these conversations. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.